Hi, this is Phil Biadrone. I'm right outside CJ's Functional Fitness. Right next to me is the man who owns this castle, CJ himself. CJ, welcome. Hey, hey, nice to be here in my own spot. Hey, how about that? <laughs> I know you're a trainer amongst other things. Tell me, what do you specialize with in your training? Well, uh, in my background, how I train my clients, I utilize uh, muscle confusion, and that takes uh, a little MMA training. Uh, we take everything from yoga, uh, uh, some uh, Bikram yoga type stretches, uh, MMA training, boxing, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, and we take the exercises and make them into functional training. So if it's a person that wants to get up and down from a chair, well, we got exercises for that. Mm -hmm. Or if it's a guy that's fighting in the cage, like uh, my man Latif Williams, trained in a cage we gave him functional exercises for that and he won his fight with ease I'm telling you that's what functional fitness is about so henceforth CJ's functional fitness you know it's a, it's a lesson I had to learn for myself I used to be 230 pounds I was a bodybuilder you know but I couldn't last 30 seconds in the ring you know right. so I knew I had to make a change so flexibility uh, strength training uh, MMA training exercises got me flexible got me fast so I decided to give it to the world yeah Mm -hmm. So that sort of training is available for anyone. It doesn't have to be MMA fighters who have to learn this, right? It can be any any walk of life, correct? Well, the slogan goes, you don't have to be a fighter to feel like one. See, now, if you want to be the best accountant in the world, well, you can train in functional fitness. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to punch your guy in the next cubicle. It just means you're going to be the best accountant that you can be. You want to be the best police officer? This functional training, you don't have to be a fighter to feel like one. I get you to fight the battle of life. That's what CJ's Functional Fitness is all about. You mentioned uh, police officer. Well, uh, in my prior life and in my current life, I mean, I, I am in a law enforcement, very proud of it, 18, awesome. 19 years on the job, and I was a physical fitness instructor for the department. I was one of the lead self-defense instructors for the department, but you know, uh, every two weeks you get the same check, so yeah. that's cool, but it's kind of nice making uh, more doing that, doing what you love here, and that's helping the community. I mean, uh, not just that, just the free community programs that I offer. Uh, you know, and that's all from the caring from my, that my mom and dad gave me. You know, I was raised with 41 foster children. And, I mean, wow. for my mom and dad to do that and then just for us to be the natural born and us watch that process from all nationalities, mm -hmm. just give. You know, feeding the homeless. You know, it develops into this program that I'm developing right now called Battle of the Bulge. That's what I want to ask you about. Lastly, about Battle of the Bulge. What is your main goal going into Battle of the Bulge? The main goal is this. And it, it, trust me, it's, it's a pure message as it can get. We're trying to take the Los Angeles community and educate them because our great trainers that I've brought together are the best of the best from all over, but it's still not enough. If we can educate 20 people for about 8 to 12 weeks for free, and all we ask of them to do is be a disciple for change and fitness. If I can take those 20 people and send them out in their community, do you know what a force multiplier that would be? That would be incredible. So I've done it for like four years now. But now we're about to take it to a bigger perspective. You know, it was a fitness syndicate versus obesity. It still is. But now, as you can see, it's Battle of the Bulge, Los Angeles. It starts here in Los Angeles, but it can go to Atlanta. It can go to New York. Hey, so you are the trainers out there. Get ready because I'm looking for the best. You already got the best in L.A. So I'm looking for the best out in these other cities right there. So you guys better get ready. Battle of the Bulge. You don't have to be a fighter to feel like one. So let's train. <laughs> Wonderful. That's very inspirational. Very impressive. Thank you so much, CJ. Oh, thank you very much, brother. All right. <laughs> Thanks. We have a very, very important person, Eva, and she is not just a trainer, but uh, what else can you tell me, Eva? I'm not only a trainer, I'm a mother of two teenage girls mm -hmm. and also a teacher. I've been a health educator for, uh, this will be my 18th year teaching. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot, oh. all about health, fitness, yes, improving your personal lifestyle. And do you know CJ at all? Or? And CJ, yes, he is my husband, oh. so I work alongside of him. Um, when he does his workouts, I'm there to cool everyone down after they've, you know, sweated and thought, can't do anymore. So when they see me coming, they're ready to relax, cool down, do a wonderful stretch. So I'm known as a cool down queen. Okay, so that's your difference of training between CJ. Maybe he's ramping them up and you're cooling them down? Yes, he's revving them up, killing them, and I'm here to say, okay, relax, let's take some deep breaths, let's stretch it out. So it's really nice when, I'm, when I come along. Okay, Eva, you seem like the person I'd want to see when I'm working out. Uh, <laughs> behind me on the board, is there anything that we can point out that represents a little bit about what we're trying to do uh, well, for, for tonight? For tonight, most importantly, we have BLBLA, Battle of the Bulge LA, and we have our other supporting fitness trainers that are helping us out and Battle of the Bulge LA we are launching and this is a program that we've done successfully for four years in the community to promote fitness and health for wonderful deserving people who can't even afford it. We do this free out of our the kindness of our hearts and all the other trainers to help people out get them in shape, get them fit, and also for them to go back to their communities and spread the word about fitness and enjoy how fun it is just to be fit. So this is now going to be the fifth year going into Battle of the Bulge. What's so great about this year? 
What's great about this year is we are looking to have this televised to spread to all of California, just all over the nation so people can see that everyone, no matter where you are, no matter what background you come mm -hmm. from, no matter if you have two kids, three kids, one job, two jobs, that everyone has the opportunity and everyone can fit fitness into their life and improve their lifestyle and their health. Eva, I can't wait to see it on TV. Thank you so much for Thank your time. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Functional fitness. Right next to me is Don Stroger. Don is also a trainer. Tell me, what do you specialize in, Don? Well, I'm, I specialize in circuit group training. However, I like to personalize, personalize my training to whatever the client needs. We also do Zumba. So whatever is the best training for them to reach their overall goal, that's what I do. On the board behind me, can you point out your training program? My training program for the next, um, oh, point out my training program. Where am I? Let's see. Here I am. There I am. There. What does DS stand for? Don Strozier's workouts. Got it. Okay. So um, what would be the best workout for, let's say, Battle of the Bulge? In order to get a contestant lose a large amount of weight, get on a great diet, what would be your plan of attack? 80% uh, of what you do is diet, so that's going to be first, making sure the diet regimen is on point. Mm -hmm. Then um, an uh, exercise regimen that's high in cardiovascular exercise with some resistance training because muscle and fat can't share the same space, and just to push hard, push hard at working it out. Last question, what was the best transformation you've ever seen out of one of your own clients? One of my clients, she was actually nine years old. Whoa. What was incredible about her was that she not only transformed her way of thinking when it comes to eating, but she also helped to transform her mother and father as well. So the entire family probably total lost about 120 pounds. That's incredible. Well done. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. <laughs> Fitness, right next to me is the trainer Henry. Henry, welcome. Thank you. Let me ask you, uh, what kind of training do you specialize in? Uh, I specialize in corrective exercise uh, training and also performance enhancement training, which is sports related. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I also specialize in nutrition as well. Okay, and on the sport behind me, can you point out your, uh, your training yes. program? Yes, I can. It's right over here. Fit Dreams. Fit Dreams, yes. What made you decide Fit Dreams? Oh, wow. Well, uh, Fit Dreams, um, to me, it, it, what it means is your ultimate potential, your ultimate human potential, and, and, and reaching that through uh, fitness and nutrition. And I, uh, the specializing, specialization that I, that I specialize in is raw nutrition. It's vegan nutrition, and so I look at nutrition more from a plant-based perspective. Okay, and taking that further for Battle of the Bulge, what do you think is some great advice or a plan of attack that you would give in order to get a contestant into that extreme, wonderful, great shape? Oh, excellent. Um, number one is nutrition. Yes. And, and so um, the first thing, the first plan of attack for me is detoxification. And I, I uh, attack that through juicing and uh, also smoothies and, and other things as well. Okay. Remedies. Okay. Besides nutrition, anything else? Oh yes, uh, fitness is also uh, a specialty of mine, and so my my plan of attack is uh, lots of circuit training and cardiovascular exercises. Okay, Henry. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes. Fitness. Right next to me is the trainer AK. AK, uh, tell me what type of training do you specialize in? I'm special mostly in functional fitness. Uh, my main idea is on train the body the way it is designed to move. Right. Okay, so that's the definition of functional fitness. Functional fitness, yeah. Okay, and uh, can you point yourself out on the board behind me? Right here. Oh, perfect. Right AK, here. fitness right here. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what would you say is like a typical workout program for someone doing one of your training sessions? Basically, I take them through an assessment first. Mm -hmm. They see what they really need. Right. right. Based on that, we kind of design a program that's really special on just that person only. And uh, after a couple of weeks, we test them again and see if they're making any type of improvement mm -hmm. and we kind of readjust the program and see how we can get them to a, be to a better goal. Okay, for a program that's coming up, Battle of the Bolts, now right. as you know, that's right. we're trying to take people and get them to their absolute core peak condition. Right. So what would be like your plan of attack doing functional workouts to get someone into that prime shape? Um, since it's a group thing, I believe more in getting everybody involved. Mm -hmm. So I like playing little games just to get them since you know, everybody likes working out. So right. how can we get everybody just to get to play together, right? <laughs> yeah. And at the same time, while we're playing, we get them to move, to do exercise they never thought they would be able to do. 
and in the end, they're able to move better mm. and they feel better, and then they're losing weight and feeling stronger, and that's our main goal. Yeah. So the power is yeah. in the community. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. AK, thank so you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank Pleasure. Pleasure. <laughs> 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 right Do you see like a moth going by? <laughs> Drone. I'm outside of CJ's Functional Fitness. So right next to me are the trainers Glenn and Jocelyn. Tell me, what type of training do you specialize in? Uh, we, we do the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu portion of uh, the, the contest here. So we're towards the end of the, the fitness training. So a lot of it builds up to what we do. So we'll be teaching them Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and grappling some self-defense. Okay, for those of you who don't know Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu too well, Jocelyn, can you explain it a little bit for us? Sure. Um Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is the uh, grappling portion. Some arts are stand up, but what happens is when they take you down, that's when our art takes over. I see this very much in MMA, particularly when someone gets knocked on the ground, then but the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu really kicks in. Speaking of, can you point yourself out on the board behind me? Right here, let's right roll here. Brazilian let's Jiu Jitsu. Roll. Let's roll Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, excellent. And of course we're here for the Battle of the Bolt, which is yes. this big ambitious project going on and you said that you are towards the end of the program. What would be your plan of attack in order to really like, really hone down the uh, contestants to that like final prime shape and getting them in super strength? Well we actually kind of put them through and kind of teach them a little bit how to fight. So what really happens is, is that a lot of what they do beforehand prepares them for what we're going to have to do with them. So what we do is we kind of analyze where they've, what they've been through and what kind of things that they've learned and incorporate that into the jiu-jitsu techniques that we're going to teach them. So that becomes a nice seamless way for them to go ahead and do all these different types of training and then go ahead and learn how to fight. Wonderful. So once they're exhausted and on the ground, then they can defend themselves once they're on said ground. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. That's it. <laughs> Glenn, Jocelyn, thank you so much, and I look forward to uh, seeing all the wonderful progress. Thank, thank, thank you very much. much. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So right next to me is Diana. Diana, I understand you're a trainer? Yes, I am. Now, what type of training do you particularly specialize in? Particularly, I specialize in cardio and strength training. And to me, it's not just about working out. It's a state of mind. I train anyone, but I really, really love to uplift women and give them confidence and just let them know that they can do anything mentally and physically. And, um, you know, I understand the journey because I've been there. I've fluctuated with my weight. So I just like to let women know that, you know, you're strong and you can do anything that you put your mind to. Okay, wonderful words. Well, let me ask you, uh, in particular, does anything come to mind of a client of yours, a woman or some story? Yes, yes. My client, um, her name was Gigi. Oh my God. When I got her, she was so broken and she would cry because she thought that, you know, she couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. And about a couple weeks, oh my God, she's on fire. Like, I love her and it, it means so much to me because I already see that they can do it, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, that's just what I want to do for people because sometimes even I've been discouraged, you know, yeah. as a trainer. And that's one thing that I love about CJ because when I came to him, I felt like I didn't even want to do this anymore. And he saw something in me, you know? He was like, Diana, you're special, you're gifted, you know, you're, you're a trainer, like you're talented. And I feel like I have my confidence back and I feel so good about myself right now because it's only it's been less than a year and I it's crazy I love it and I really really owe a lot to him wonderful well thank you so much for your time thank you appreciate thank it you. Thank, thank you, you. awesome thank you what does that look like you know what is so special about this fifth year um, just bigger and better um, you know each year we're trying to improve and make it bigger and better, you know, whether it's through TV, you know, social media, you know, uh, this outlet, you know, tonight's, you know, event, you know, this is the first time we've done something like this. And, uh, you know, CJ is amazing at speaking and putting on this kind. I'm the silent partner. You know, I come in and he calls me the silent assassin. You know, I come in. K-Flash, the silent assassin. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, say a few words, but, you know, we all get results. You know, we have a great group of trainers with us. And, um, you know, with CJ's idea, I think it's just going to blossom. Yeah, it, obviously there's evidence of that already. And keep in mind that these are the top trainers, you know, in all of the greater Los Angeles area. So I have no doubt in my mind, you know. Mm -hmm. So con congratulations on the success already and Thank the you. coming success for, for CJ and yourself. Thank you so much. Appreciate the time, Calvin. Thank you. Thank you.